All righty. So uh, last night I went ahead and uh, delitted uh, this 13900KS. Uh, this chip right here is actually a, uh, the owner says it's a PSP124. Uh, so this chip is actually a SP117 Global. That's with E Core and P Core SP combined. Uh, this is a, a very nice chip. I'm kind of curious to see how this compares to my 13900K. Uh, now, uh, this is going to uh, get uh, the, uh, I'm going to be resealing this permanently for him. Uh, and essentially, the super cool direct die, uh, this is one of the best cooling systems you can ask for um, because how well these work. So, um, you remove, of course, the factory IHS. Let me get this off real quick. This is a Gen 13 as well. Okay, so. You've got your CPU, right? Right here. Uh, you're going to remove that factory IHS. Okay, put that to the side and you put this bad boy on there. Okay, and uh, this is this just essentially replaces the IHS, becomes the new IHS, um, but it's also a cold plate. All right, so uh, this here is um, the actual top for it. You've got your little O-ring um, and it just mounts right to it. And the cooling is phenomenal. Uh, so my 13900K, you know, it's funny because pe people struggle to run 5.8 gigahertz on these things. And, uh, you know, this chip can run 6.1. Uh, but if I were to run 5.8, I can set 5.8 gigahertz with 1.23 volts in the BIOS. And with 15 C water, 15 Celsius water, and I run, I mean, I can run R23 for 30 minutes. And that thing will hit about 45 Celsius package. <laughs> That's crazy. So if it was 20 Celsius water, it'd be about 50 Celsius. 25 C water, 55. Um, very little power usage. And the setup is, this is mine. Uh, so you can see this is just the same thing. Um, this is merely the um, outer LED that goes over the super cool and lights it up and makes it look cool. Um, but I'm going to be testing this CPU shortly. This is a PSP 121 and the uh, 13900KS is actually a uh, PSP 124. So P cores are 124. Uh, that is phenomenal. I'm very curious. I've never tested a 13900KS before. Uh, this is not my CPU. I'm just deleting it for someone and I'm going to reseal it permanently. Uh, with the super cool Gen 13. I'm also going to lap the bottom of this just to make sure this floats freely. Um, that's the best setup because when you're sealing it permanently and you have any kind of air gaps, that liquid metal will dry out. On you. So um, I'm going to lap it once I know it's floating uh, on just a die. I'm going to reseal it and uh, I'm going to test it out and see how good that chip is. So a lot of 13900KSs are actually they seem to be punching below what they are. Like for example, uh, say someone has a PSP 120 13900KS, you can look at its VIDs for 5.8 gigahertz and they're higher, right? Um, meaning that chip would only be equivalent to like a PSP 115 13900K. So that's the thing about 13900KSs, but because this chip is a PSP 124, you're thinking, okay, this is better than my 13900K. I don't know, um, because this chip actually has higher VIDs than my chip. This chip's 5.8 gigahertz VIDs are 1.369, and mine are 1.363, okay? So what does that mean? Uh, this chip has higher voltage for 5.8. Now, we don't know how, what that's gonna turn into in real world. Um, so I'm gonna be testing that today, and we're gonna kind of see and I'll let you know. Who knows? It could scale really well. Um, uh, but we'll just have to see. Uh, there are some very magical 1300 KSs out there, but not very many. 
Most of the 1300 KSs are actually worse than a lot of 1300 K chips. Uh, a lot of good 1300 K chips, that is. You got a better chance of getting a decent sample with a 1300 KS, um, but as far as getting some god tier 1300 K out of a 1300 KS, eh, I don't know. You're going to have to buy probably like six or seven 1300 KS. It's probably at least six to get a really golden one. It does. Very much so increase your chances, though. Um, but this is essentially what I've discovered. Um, that's why I haven't switched my CPU at all. It is a absolute animal. Uh, and it's just 1300K. Um, but um, that's that, pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm doing so far. I'm going to reseal this thing uh, very soon. And uh, we'll get it on uh, the uh, chiller here momentarily. Anyways, thanks for watching.